Hello and welcome to another short episode of Animal Crossing's Pocket Camp. So first of all, my apologies for not uploading anything for the last couple of days. <coughs> um, basically, um, decided it was an idea to kind of take a bit of a rest, which I... Um, have done so um, here we are so what I'll do is I'll update you what's going on so <coughs> the event that was happening here with um, the turtle guy is now over so um, and I think that um, What's this? All right, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so um, I'm guessing it must be some kind of new feature they've added, so I'll have a look at that and we'll discuss it in the next episode. But anyway, um, <coughs> so we just go back to goals again. So I'm guessing. This is now the new event to do with shrimps. So, um, but we also have the opportunity to still catch up with the orchid ornaments as well. So, um, we'll go in and do that first. Okay, so I'm guessing we can't do the um So I think this is actually a new feature now which is um exchanging flowers for items. really that many well apparently I did need more okay well let's just buy something else Go with tulips, I like tulips. Right, okay, I should check the season ones because it's saying that we can still collect the orchids, so right, let's just now this was requested Right, okay, so that's the request completed for him. 
Now I can actually change my um, <coughs> camper today um, because the new one of these went through so I may actually change it to Eloise I've noticed that there's only like one of the balloons now appearing. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, I've got a bit of a dry throat. Um, just bear with me a moment and I'll just get something to some water. Okay, sorry about that. Hopefully, I think this is one of the things that I will probably pick them up on. Um, they want me to rate the actual app, so um, I think personally Right, um, I'll have to look at how I can change the um, caretaker um, once I've done this because I forgot uh, I don't really know how you do it um, as we just point to um right so basically um, the other day I got a reward code for being able to order some of the camp items from pocket camp that I could buy in New Horizons so for example I could get the camper both the vintage and the one you see there the camp sign and I could um, get a few other things like um, as well um, so I ordered the camper, both the vintage and that one, thinking, oh, great, you know, that will look good by the campsite on New Horizons, only to discover they were just toy versions. So, just bear in mind, if you plan to get these for your New Horizons game, if you haven't already, they will only be toy versions, not the real large thing that I thought they might be. So um, I know that you can actually get motor cars and that in. So, oh, the other thing, actually, well, I think it was actually related to OK Motors. You got to get the cap, the jacket and that kind of thing as well. I will order those in due course, but um, at the moment I'm quite happily ordering posters um, of the different characters. So... My actual guide arrived yesterday, which I am thrilled with because it gives you the list of all the collectibles. Um, the only thing about it is, is it's not updated. So, um, 
Oh, it's a different balloon there. Yeah, that is going to be my biggest complaint, I think, when I do the boss. It's the fact that they just give you far too much stuff to get and then give you so limited a storage to then have it. Um, I mean, unless anybody out there knows how to get bigger storage and I just too stupid to figure it out, uh, maybe you could comment it in there as to how I could get bigger storage um, but essentially now I'm going to have to go through the painful wasset of filling these all up um, to try and get some of those items because I noticed now that then there are certain limited days Whereas it's like normally you have up to a certain amount of days. I've noticed it, it's only saying you can do it to up to um, one day now. Which if I thought some of it I could um, not use such as the excessive amount of these I'm getting, I would just say, yes, yeah, fine, let it go. Oh, I thought something didn't look right. Okay. Never mind. So I don't know what I worried for. So the other thing I did get as well, actually, is the fortune cookie stand, um, which was actually of good size and height, which um, I'm planning on trying to make my own little marketplace with in New Horizons, so it should come in useful, useful for that. Right, okay, so, um, we can at least fill one request here.
Right, before I <coughs> do anything else, let's accept those because it's going to get to the point where I probably won't have the chance to. Okay, so that's so we need to go to <coughs> yes, yeah, so sorry again. Um, the guide is fantastic, and I will actually do a video of it um, I mean it is absolutely worth the price that I paid for it and I know that it is some people may think it's not but um, if you see it when I upload the video of it you'll see just exactly how I think or why I think it is really a good guide um, I mean of course there are cheaper guys out there but they don't unfortunately have lists of items in it like the guidebook does um, now of course you can download and print off these lists yourself and I may have to with the updated one of um, the KK albums um purely because um of the fact that the obviously being an old older book means that um it won't have the updated albums in it right so i need to harvest some pears so let's do that first Oh, I, I was chopping wood in the New Horizons today and I was stung by at least five or six wasp nests and I just think and all this was just because I was trying to build little wooden fences for the new thing that I'm trying to do <coughs> um, because I want to try to get a bit creative and well <laughs> just say that you know luckily I had the common sense to take right I'm just going to get rid of some of the See, if they, I mean, look, if I want more space, I'd have to pay for it. I think they should give you the expansion if you, you're paying the monthly thing. Anyway, yes, yeah, so as I was saying, um, all this is because I want to be a bit more, um, trying to get a bit more design conscious with um, my island 
and um, I've kind of at that point um, where I'm in between ideas She was literally right behind me. I could have just give them to her. Hoping that's the modern cabinet I need to craft. Let's have a look. Oh no, it isn't. Oh, that's a shame. Let's craft them anyway, because um, they could actually. She worked towards one of the homes. Right, so Okay, <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I 
Okay, so let's just go back to the camp. See, I would like to do some of the spring stuff, to be honest, but the way it's looking, it could be probably... February the 27th before the snow gets removed I love this because they actually play this. I think I could offer you yeah, have a snack. So just like that. Right, so I have to get the picnic set um, to mac raise her max level, which I can only do when it's a bit more springtime-ish. Right, okay, well... That's it for now. I think what I need to do is have a look at the island properly. And maybe we'll just have to find a way of imagining there's no snow about. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, um, hit all the buttons. You know what to do. So, and all that's left for me to say is um, stay safe, stay healthy and happy gaming everybody.